Welcome back nerds. Today we will have a detailed discussion on the characteristics of learners. So let's begin. The notion of learners characteristics is used in the sciences of learning and cognition to identify a group of learners and define their persona as academic, social, or cognitive characteristics. Learners qualities are essential for an instructional designers as they allow them to design and create tailored instruction for a target group. In order to design and develop more effective, efficient, and motivating instructional materials, learners' characteristics should be considered. To adopt a teaching style appropriately, the teacher must understand the learners' characteristics. The best learners are enthusiastic and are willing to put in extra effort and hard work. Prior experience of the learners also plays an important role. Suppose a learner wishes to learn how to ride a bicycle. It will be easier for them to learn the skill of driving a bike if they already know how to cycle. Learning can characterize the aptitude and cognitive level of the learner. The learner's stage of development also plays an important factor in learning. Generally, Highly motivated learners learn more quickly due to their motivational orientation. It is common for personal characteristics to correlate with demographic information such as age, gender, maturity, language, socio-economic background, and the specific needs of the leadership group, such as a particular skill set and disabilities. Rather than focusing on the individual or the group, Academic characteristics are more concerned with the individual's or group's learning goals, prior knowledge, educational type, and educational level. Social and emotional characteristics include, among others, group structure, individual placement within a group, sociability, self-image, and feelings of self-efficacy. A learner's cognitive characteristics describe how they perceive, remember, think, solve problems, organize, and represent information in their brain, including their attention span, memory, mental procedures, and intellectual abilities. The impact of any particular characteristic on the training experience of a learner will be highly dependent on the situation in which the training takes place. The effect of an unfamiliar environment with little understanding of what is taking place will be lessened if the person is comfortable and supported. Therefore, when considering the potential impact of a learner's characteristics, it is also vital to consider the context of learning. Therefore, the features of learning can be The process of learning involves change. Activities are integral to all forms of learning. Learners must interact with each other to learn. Constitute learning. The process of learning continues throughout one's lifetime. The process of learning occurs at random throughout one's life. There is a problem-solving component to learning. The process of learning is the acquisition of information. There is much more to learning than just thinking. It is essential to have the experience to learn. Now let's discuss the characteristics of adolescent learners. The first thing we should consider about the physical development of adolescent learners. Hormonal changes can cause restlessness and fatigue. Physical activity is required due to an increase in energy levels. The development of sexual awareness and bumping into others and touching them often. Changing body measurements and shapes cause concern. Physical vulnerability is caused by unhealthy eating habits or risky behavior. Movements that are awkward or uncoordinated due to physical changes. Characteristics of adolescent learners can also be based on intellectual or academic development. Adolescent learners' thinking is in abstract terms as opposed to concrete terms. They can be intensely curious and engage in a wide variety of intellectual pursuits, though few of them are sustained for an extended period. They can achieve a high level of achievement when challenged and engaged. They prefer an active learning style over a passive learning style. They participate in learning activities that involve interaction with peers. The ability to reflect on oneself. 
Adolescent learners ensure that what is being taught and what is being learned are relevant. They develop an understanding of higher levels of humor, some of which may be misinterpreted as sarcastic or aggressive by adults. Characteristics of adolescent learners based on their social development To establish a social position among peers, one must experiment with ways of speaking and acting. Adolescent learners investigate racial and ethnic identity issues and seek peers from similar backgrounds. They investigate questions of sexual identity through the use of visible or invisible means. Adolescent learners' initial feelings of intimidation or apprehension regarding the middle school experience. They take an interest in popular culture and like fans. They tend to overreact to ridicule, embarrassment, and rejection. With attention-getting behaviors, adolescent learners seek approval from peers and others. As interpersonal skills are being developed, they fluctuate between a demand for independence and a desire for guidance and direction. Adolescent Learners' Emotional and Psychological Development There are peaks of intensity and unpredictability associated with mood swings. The need for sudden bursts of activity to release energy. Adolescent learners desire to become independent and find acceptance and identity as adults. They have self-consciousness and are sensitive to personal criticism. Concern about physical growth and maturity. Adolescent learners' problems, feelings, and experiences are unique. They tend to overreact to ridicule, embarrassment, and rejection. They intend to gain the approval of peers and others through attention-getting behaviors. Moral Development of an Adolescent Learner Knowing how to analyze and question values, cultural expressions, and religious teachings to gain a deeper understanding of moral issues. Participation in a democratic process is possible and desirable. Lack of patience with the pace of change and underestimates the difficulty of bringing about social change. A need for an influence of trustworthy and dependable adult role models. It is common for children to rely on their parents and significant adults for advice, but they wish to make their own decisions. They tend to judge others quickly but recognize one's faults slowly. Adolescent learners are concerned for animals and the environment and show compassion to those oppressed or suffering. Now that we have discussed the characteristics of adolescent learners, it's time to discuss the characteristics of adult learners. Adult learners are dedicated to solving problems through education. Their education should be focused on achieving specific results. They are typically self-directed, not dependent upon others for direction. They generally are skeptical about new information, preferring to test it before accepting it. To find the education relevant to their current needs, timely, and appropriate for their current situation. Adult learners take responsibility for their own learning if it is deemed appropriate and timely. Another important topic we should discuss is an individual differences. There are differences among people in all aspects of their lives, including their psychological characteristics, physical abilities, knowledge, habits, personalities, and character traits. It is primarily the study of group differences that focuses on the psychology of individual differences. Here we aim to classify individuals based on age, traits, sex, race, and social class to observe the differences within and between those groups. Differences in physical, mental, cultural, and social characteristics are being studied under individual differences. Individual differences are now considered any aspect of a person's total personality that can be measured. This definition of individual differences encompasses all aspects of human nature that can be measured. Concerning learner characteristics, there are often significant differences between the characteristics of different learners and groups of learners such as children, students, professionals, adults, older people and disabled persons. This group's motivation, prior knowledge, expertise level, study time, 
and physical abilities differ. The following factors can be categorized as individual differences. There could be several learner types based on demographics such as different ages, gender, and place. Individual differences based on modalities like visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Individual differences based on their cognitive approaches, such as active and evaluative listening. Individual differences based on physical appearance, intelligence, and attitudes. Individuals differ in their abilities by achievement tests. These differences are very much visible in reading, writing, and learning mathematics. Individual differences can be based on motor ability, sex, racial differences, economic status, interest, emotion, and personality. So that's all for today. See you in our next class.